Thank you. I go back. Thank you very much, Chair Lady, Dr. Carson over here. Good to have you back again. Thank you. Dr. Carson, are you familiar with own to option mortgage programs? Uh, in general, yes. In general. Well, the uh, National Urban Institute has recognized this as an excellent way to move people into home ownership. Mm -hmm. um, you, you, have you reviewed this? Have, how receptive are you to it? I'm very receptive to the idea, rec recognizing that home ownership is the principal mechanism of wealth accumulation in this country. The average renter has a net worth of 5,000, the average home owner 200,000. That's a 40-fold increase. So uh, we're looking at multiple ways, uh, in including renter to ownership uh, models uh, to increase home ownership, particularly amongst some of the uh, demographics that have fallen behind. That's very good, and I encourage you to continue that as well. Now, let me go to a project you have mentioned some time ago as being uh, one of your uh, real projects that you can take some authorship in. It, it's called Envision Centers. Uh, could you tell us about that? I've yes. spoken with some of the public housing uh, authorities in my district down in Georgia, like East Point Housing Authority and many others, and they seem to be very excited about this. Tell us a little more about that, will you? Yeah, well, the, the ideal comes from, from the Bible. Uh, Proverbs 29. Hold on. It comes from the Bible? From the Bible. Proverbs Very good. 29, 18 says, without a vision, the people perish. So we said, we'll call these vision centers. But then we thought yeah. everybody would think they were getting glasses. So we call them envision centers. Mm -hmm. But it's a place where we can bring together all of the various services that are available to move people towards self-sufficiency. So instead of them going to 17 different places, they can get all of these services under one roof. Uh, we, we had the first demonstration of 17 uh, cities, and uh, 13 of them have opened already. Uh, some of them are doing extremely well. And, uh, you know, this is, this is just a model which I think is going to explode very soon, and we're going to have a lot of these. Let me ask you this now. You mentioned when you made that announcement last April, I believe, um, you did say, as you just mentioned, 17 centers open. But to our available knowledge that has come to us, only three, only three, not 13. Um, so there's some discrepancy there. Are you aware of that? Uh, there may be, but... Uh uh, there was actually an article in uh, OAN this week that details the 13 that are open. Okay, uh, that's good, the Invention Centers. I hope you continue that. Folks in Georgia and my uh, district are very excited about it, and so I look forward to working with you. Now, tell me and give me a very good update and let me know, because the last time you were here, you and I had a very spirited conversation about your desire, or when your desire it was, as you said in your statement, somebody said that we ought to zero out the Community Development Block Grant Program. After you and I talked, tell me, are we secure with that program? Or do you and I have to go to battle once more on that? Well, I don't think we ever have to go to battle, uh, regardless of whether we... Well, let me tell you, man, if you all move one inch to zero out the most effective program that cities and states and counties use to lift themselves up, and be the cities and towns that they need. Yes, we will go to battle. I'm asking you, will we have to go to battle? Are you all still planning to zero out the budget for the CBDG program? Well, yes let, or no? Let me just say, 
I don't think we ever need to go to battle regardless of anything. Having said that, you know, as I've said before, the CDB, CDBG program has been helpful in many cases. No, I, I know my time is short, but are, have you moved away from zeroing out that budget, yes or no? It's not a yes or no question. Yes, it is. Now, you just want to make it into a battle. It doesn't need to no, be No, I want a yes or no answer. You're going to do it or you're not. Apparently, you all still have that on the table. The gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Stanton.